With approximately 100,000 new cases of melanoma diagnosed in the United States each year, breakthroughs in melanoma research have the potential to save thousands of lives. For over 40 years, the Kimberly and Eric J. Waldman Department of Dermatology has been on the forefront of new therapies for skin cancers, including melanoma, one of the most lethal cancers. Now the Waldman family has continued their generous support to establish the Kimberly and Eric J. Waldman Melanoma and Skin Cancer Center here at Mount Sinai. I've been involved with the Department of Dermatology for many years, primarily as a patient. And in talking with Mark Labwall, we decided that it would be a great idea to create the Waldman Melanoma Center to bring focus to a problem that is probably the most serious problem in the skincare arena, which is melanoma. The technologies for diagnosing melanoma early have existed for a number of years and they keep getting better, but they have not existed under one roof. We really are bringing the best experts from around the country and actually around the globe to our department and we could not have done this amazing recruitment of the best minds in the field without the one thing. Having a center of excellence is going to be transformational for the care that we're able to provide our patients. Whether it's cure rate or function or aesthetics, we're really able to deliver that under one roof. One of the major things that will set the Kimberly and Eric J. Waldman Melanoma Center at Mount Sinai apart from other academic institutions is the fact that we are bringing together a series of technologies that don't exist under the same roof in one place. Patients will be able to get the most cutting edge technologies in terms of prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of their skin cancer. I have access to state-of-the-art imaging technologies that'll help me to diagnose skin cancers at the earliest possible stage while also avoiding unnecessary skin biopsies. There are not many places that have optical coherent tomography, which is a non-invasive diagnostic imaging technique that we can use to diagnose skin cancers. One of the most exciting things that we're getting is two separate systems that will allow us to do what we call total body photography. The first in the world of this system. We are the only academic center with a device called NevaSense where we use electrical impedance to test which moles are likely to be atypical and which are not. We will have the opportunity to offer the state-of-the-art surgical treatment once you have a skin cancer that's been diagnosed. We have Mohs Micrographic Surgery Operative Suite. We can remove skin cancers in a cosmetically and functionally sensitive way and make sure that the margins of the cancer are free. We are particularly well equipped to deal with the cutaneous side effects that can come with anti-cancer therapies. There are very few dermatologists in the world who are specially trained in oncodermatology, but this is an expertise that I bring to the center. We're really gonna become a leader in the research. We'll be able to bring together patients with difficult to treat skin cancers or rare types of skin cancer and study them in a way that previously would have been nearly impossible. There are a number of genetic tests that we are using in our new melanoma center that will help us tell which melanomas are likely to metastasize or not. I'll be focused on studying a particular type of skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. Our ultimate goal is to identify the particular cell types that are responsible for either aggressiveness of the tumor or treatment resistance to therapeutically target them and improve patient treatments. My work is focused on lymphomas of the skin. We are working both on better diagnostic tools as well as novel therapeutic treatments to better serve this patient population. Through the research that we've been doing in immunotherapy, we have cutting edge advancements that will allow us to study the exact immune molecules that can lead to cancer regression. The work we're doing at the Waldman Melanoma and Skin Cancer Center will take the Department of Dermatology to the next level and help us become one of the foremost institutions for melanoma and skin cancer care across the country. The Kimberly and Eric J. Waldman Melanoma and Skin Cancer Center at Mount Sinai is setting the standard for excellence and providing hope to patients diagnosed with melanoma. Without the support we've gotten from the Waldman family, the opening of this Melanoma Center would not have been possible and the resources they are giving us will enable us 
to not only continue to diagnose melanoma, but also to find the cures for those patients who today are not curable. We hope to be able to provide patients everything that they need for this problem. One day we really hope to have a cure for this, and we hope we're the ones to do it.